ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got something to show you. So, if you remember a couple weeks ago, actually a couple months ago, there was a release trailer kind of leaked called Atlas. This is a game that's being developed by Wildcard. Um, and uh, they finally have released the official trailer for it. So I'm going to just showcase it real quick. And then I want to briefly say one thing before I want to break down the entire thing. And then I'll probably do a couple videos of this because I'm actually kind of excited because I'm really been looking for a pirate game to play. And this is my take. So let's start. I'm not going to say anything. Just watch it. Good job, Chris, on the trailer. So, let's pause it right here. Atlas is going to be a massive multiplayer game online that will be coming to Steam and next year to Xbox exclusives or something like that. That's all they have said for the announcement. But before we even talk anything about this, I want to go over a message because I know a lot of people uh, play Ark on my channel and actually um, are concerned. Okay, so... A message from Jeremy and Jesse, the founders of Studio Wildcard, have a little bit of a thing. I'm going to summarize this really quickly for you guys. They're basically going to be... The, their main focus is going to be Atlas for demo. Now, this is not going to be the main uh, team from Studio Wildcard. It's going to be a new team called uh, Grape Shot Games. Uh, it's going to be their sister team of Wild Studio. I don't know. I guess wild card so i guess they've been developing this for a while obviously it looks really good so far um but they are going to be taking some original arc team members as well um as well as new hires and etc we already knew that blah 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 um and they just want to state that arc survival Ball was a great experience for players building and everything that they've done and they're going to continue moving forward with the development with Ark as well as development of Atlas. They're not going to stop development of Ark, which I hope they won't. But I don't, for me, I don't really see another DLC coming anytime soon. Nor an Ark 2 anytime soon. Or probably not even never. Um... Because I can see Atlas, because Atlas is a lot, it's quite frankly going to be a lot bigger game than Ark whatever would be. So, I don't know what we'll see in the future with Ark. They have stated that they will support. But, let's be honest. It's a work. You're telling us they will support. I want to see actual proof of it in the next couple months to a year of us of wildcard still supporting arc to what it is because let's be honest without arc i wouldn't be here a lot of people wouldn't be here up and on youtube and twitch and you know without arc they wouldn't have been such very successful because it sells a lot so it's a good game arc's a very good game and i think atlas will be probably better than arc because that's kind of my take on it so far is atlas is going to be good so that's all I wanted to put in the video is this is basically they're going to still be developing Ark, but they are going to be moving forward with Atlas being their main priority now with a lot of team members from Wildcard. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. I don't know. What's your guys thoughts on that? I don't know. I hope they keep their word with it because that's all I want. I just want their word. I love Ark and I 
Don't want it to die. <laughs> Not yet, please. <laughs> but anyways, let's go over this actual, this game. So, this game is coming out next week. The 13th. Even though I already have too many games right now. Now you're going to put out another freaking game for me to play? Oh, man, I'm really enjoying Extinction, but freak. So, anyways, this is going to be a massively pirate game that's going to have huge servers i think they said the game is like something times bigger than the island the map and when i i don't know what that is i don't remember what it was it was on the game rewards so i'm literally just recording it after watching it this all this because it's just my first reaction this game's gonna be massive this game is huge this game is gonna be bigger than dark and light i think as well as like massively scaled because i think dark and light wants to be very big i don't think they'll ever get there to be honest the game is really slow but um this game is gonna be so big and it looks really good now don't get me wrong there's a lot of things in here that are been reused from arc because it's the same engine That's what I've seen. I will not... I don't know if it's 100% going to be on the same engine, but there's a lot of assets from Arc Survival Evolved built into this game. But for the most part, there's a lot of new things. Like these ships, for example. This new background. That thing. This thing. The cannons. That's a new cannon. Like, there's, there's a lot of new things. And to me, I think, um, I think this is going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be fun. Now, granted, a lot of people said that about a lot of games. But, you know, Sea of Thieves sucks. And this might actually be better than Sea of Thieves. But we'll have to wait and see. So, anyways, let's go over this actual trailer. So, let's start from the beginning. So, at the beginning, we have some horses coming around. You know, uh, we got some hanging happening. Oh, lovely. You can see there's might be a very good... It might be an, a, a huge amount of customization for characters because there's a lot of different outfits uh, for hairs and stuff, different colors of hairs and everything. So there might be a massively thing for customization. Um, I don't know if these are pre-built. I have no idea about a lot of things because this is just off my opinion off the trailer so i haven't read up on everything but i have everything open and i'm going to be recording a lot of videos um so yeah i don't know if you can pre i don't know if you can pre-built things if this is a pre-built town or something or maybe people uh maybe the uh, people that filmed this did it um but it looks really cool you got some carriage and stuff we've already seen all this we can just skip this uh so the boat thing now the boat thing's really cool if you haven't played on the um, Arc mod, there's an Arc mod that has a bunch of boats. This pretty much looks exactly like it, actually. Uh, but it looks like you can customize paint these. I'll be putting my logo on there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is cool. Just some big polygon dude in the water with a light. Uh, interesting. Um, so creatures. So this is really cool. This is like I don't know what this is. I don't I don't really know. You know what's funny? I don't think I know anything about pirate stuff except for booty, um, and jacking uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, there better be a Captain Jack Sparrow reference in this game. If they're not, what are you doing, wild card? What are you doing? Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, look at this. So look at these new cannons. Look at these new horses. They're not the same as Equus. They're completely brand new. They might use the same um animations and stuff so they probably are equuses just reskinned basically with a different model um nice big ogre dude i don't know what this is what is it one two three four five five headed dragon thing looks kind of cool it looks like an arc bark boss to be honest and by the way if this is going to be kind of the same as arc i chances are uh well actually it probably is because this has dire bears which they didn't good job chris getting rid of those dire bears on that uh, on the trailer uh yeah you don't want to see those ugly old ones anymore um yeah you could probably import and export models into each game so chances are if this game runs better and it, it works better <laughs> arc will everyone will be playing this instead of arc because you know why would you play arc if you can have a game that runs better with the dinosaurs and everything no less, we got a big ogre dude shooting some cannons like lightning things happening over here. Looks pretty cool. This is really cool. We got a person fishing with some oars and stuff. I don't even know what the heck that thing is. It's like a seagull thing. We got like a, a hammerhead shark. He's jumping in there. Oh, actually, can I go back to that? What is this? What did he throw out? It looks like honey. No, don't tell me that's honey. 
That's so honey. That looks like honey from Ark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got you guys can't see this here. Let me um let me uh let me move the camera. Let me move it up here. There you go. Sorry. Hammerhead shark. You got this thing. This is like um one of those um star map things. Ooh, there's a skull thing right there. Ooh, reused trees assets. Oh wait, is that a mammoth? Look at that. I think that's a mammoth. Well, we know the mammoth's not for getting a TLC rework that we want. Big, big. This is this is my favorite part right here. Some Arctic winter area. Oh, that looks so cool. We got some like big, big shark maybe or whale. Probably whale because that's what the uh, people would farm. Is that a dwarf? Oh, please tell me there's different races. Oh my god, that guy is so small. Holy crap. Same, same. So I'm, I'm assuming the character models are going to be using the same arc ones because, uh, it's same pose, everything. It's literally all the same. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a hash, rehash to use on that. Um, the map absolutely is terrible. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. There's like a big blue and like what is stupid. You can hold shovels. That's kind of cool. So that means you can, um, you know, pick up stuff and oh, we got like a rock golem. I just realized it's like some new animated rock golem model thing. That's kind of cool. Some fire dude. That's really cool too. Some I don't know blue gem things. I don't know. It might be on a different island. It looks like. Looks like this i. That looks like this game's gonna be what scene of theme should have been. Uh, it looks really cool so far. Really cool. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. So dual pistols. Um, hey, those look familiar. I don't know what those are. That looks really familiar, those torches. I don't know what they're from, but anyways. Um, kind of cool skeleton dudes and yeah, stuff like, oh, there's a two-hander. Look at that, I just realized that. That's a two-hander mace right there. Um, uh, that's kind of cool. I want to, I, I want to guess who's actually in this filming because I'm pretty sure I know who it is uh, filming with all these. Anyways, um, oh, we got a fat dude. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to this. I found my uncle. Um, this is kind of cool. So what do we have? So that's a monkey. Oh, that looks so much better than the monkeys we have. Also, there's a parrot. That's kind of cool. We got a pirate flag thing. Or pirate hat and stuff. It looks cool. I think this is going to definitely be pre-built structures on the uh, on this map. I'm actually cre quite happy with how the style is and everything. Because it, it looks like the Castle and Keep mod. I'm actually curious if they, um, maybe they bought, I don't know where the Castle and Keep mod got his, all his assets for that mod, but maybe I wonder if they bought the person's assets as because it pretty much looks really close to all of it. Anyways, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I should paint, I should point this out right here. See what he's wearing? Those are the cloth hands from Ark, 100%. Uh, what else is everyone else wearing? Pretty much new things it looks like, that's kind of cool. So, this is really cool as well. You're fighting the captain. Pretty cool. You can uh, parade and stuff. Now, this is really cool. So, this kind of represents, I think, what your ship will start out as, vanilla-wise. Like, basic, maybe. And so, you got, like, a basic kind of sail set up. And it's kind of... It has no top area. Like, look, at it's kind of narrow. It has nothing there. And all this other stuff. It just has, like, this little design. It looks a very... It looks like a very barren ship that you could customize. It looks really cool. Um, reuse arc trees, love it. Uh, all that's arc from arc, arc, arc. Um, that's all new. The scenery, though, look at the scenery. It looks really good, Chris. I like the shot. I really like the shot. Ooh, I like this too. This looks cool. It's nice. Okay. This right here, this breaks my heart. What the hell is this? Who built this? So, this is the one thing I'm gonna say. And I'm really scared about. I'm pretty sure... Look at this building. Oh my god, it's atrocious. For one, this doesn't... This wouldn't stand up. Oh my god. Please help me, god. Um, yeah, we got Ark Survival Evolved buildings, uh, walls. We got the stone walls and everything. I mean, why not? They're, they're good textures and everything. I like it. I like these new cannons. They're really cool. I like this ship, though. That's really cool, too. The shot's really nice, too, Chris. I like this. And just skip past this building. I really hate it. Um, this is nice. 
This is a really nice ship, and it kind of demonstrates the sinking mechanics. Although, I don't know why their sails are gone, if it would be a war. Uh, pretty cool, though. Sinks to the bottom. And it looks like... So, I'm, I'm assuming that ships become terrain for a while. So, maybe, like, when you sink someone's ship, it probably stays at the bottom of the ocean for, like, a couple days, maybe. Or, like, maybe a couple hours, and then it disappears. Because, let's be honest, there'll be, like, a graveyard of ships. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that there, there one server can hold up to 40,000 people? Apparently, that's a thing. All right, anyways, let's continue, and I want to get wrap this video up. Now, this is cool. This looks like a world boss kind of thing, or like some sort of invasion, because these ships right here are all green and kind of awful looking and stuff, but that's kind of cool. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's like a big seed thing. Now, this is the one thing I was not expecting. It's a dragon. It's a flicking dragon. So you know what that tells me? Atlas is not going to just be pirates. It's also going to be medieval stuff. Because I don't think dragons were in the pirate lore. But I could be completely wrong because I don't know anything about dragons. But me, well, I know my pirates because me watching Pirates Caribbean, I know everything about pirates. <laughs> um, Very interesting. Uh, holy moly, it's a, a completely brand new Wyvern model too, which I really like. Very nice job whoever did that. Looks superb, way better. It's like the TLC thing I was just talking about on my stream today about the Wyverns need a TLC update. Looks phenomenal. Looks really cool. And obviously you can tame it. And that's Atlas. That's my review of the trailer. It comes out on December 13th on Steam. And it'll be on Xbox next year. So, one thing I will sum up is kudos to Wildcard. Congratulations, you have finished the Ark story. Um... Congratulations on the release of this new game. I look forward to maybe helping you guys out if you want. Oh, are those elephants? Ooh. Um, the game looks amazing. I I have nothing bad about it. I I think the game's I think the game's gonna be baller, and I'm super excited. And I cannot wait. It looks so cool. Oh man, it looks so cool. Uh, this guy's walk animation though is a little off. Wait, can we go back to this guy? Oh, yeah, you can tell he has, like, a bunch of inventory stuff. He's, like, waddling. He's not actually walking. <laughs> oh, he didn't have a controller. Oh, well, it's me. <laughs> man, oh, man, though. But this looks really good. Um, good job, Chris, on this as well. And congratulations to the rest of Wildcard Studio, uh, the new developers, and everyone that's moving to this game. It looks really good. Oh, I can't wait to play it. Anyways, that's it. That's all I wanted to do for this video. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and tell me guys what you think about this so far. I'm very, I'm looking forward to it because I'm, I just want to know everything about it because I really want to play a pirate game. And uh, this looks like it might be my take because it's going to be using the same arc engine and mechanics. So, yeah, it's going to be good then. Shit. The only thing I'm concerned about is building, but that's just me. No one else cares about building. Everyone just builds boxes and arcs anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I love you all. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.